Definitely not Russian style. So I have no wife or I have no sim. It's it's raining. I mean, it's not raining. It's like misting. Um, I need. I, I should get a jacket, but I might not get a jacket. I might wait until I get to Russia. And I also need a plug, like a 220 plug. Look at this. But if I wander too far off and I get lost with no SIM, I just have to find a place with Wi-Fi so I can find my way back. I wish I could just film at night. Look, look there's a guy running. Nice. I wish I could film at night. It's like so cool to, the, the, I like how it looks on the screen, but I don't know if it's a good idea to film in, it's like black. <laughs> it's freezing. I mean, it's, I, I do not, I'm not prepared for the cold right now. I don't have a jacket. Me being stubborn, I might, I might not get a jacket and just like layer clothes. It is really nice. That's my first impression, you know? Oh, look at the little bird. What's up, buddy? There's like a funny theory that Finland doesn't really exist. It's actually just Sweden. <laughs> I've seen this Swedish vampire movie called Let the Right One In, and this is exactly what it feels like. It feels exactly the same as what I saw in the movie. So imagine if that was true. Finland is a hoax and it's actually just Sweden. And that's Swedish. <laughs> I wonder if people would find that offensive. So it's pretty early. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but... Anyways, I'll get back to you guys. Honestly, a vampire could just jump out of nowhere and kill me. I, it could happen. <laughs> it's a very real possibility. I was walking and I just heard footsteps behind me. And I was like, yep. What do you guys think of this? This is really nice, isn't it? Wow, it's really worth it. I knew I would like Finland. I knew I would like it. It's like you know before you know. I think I would also like Norway as well. I've always wanted to go to Norway. Uh, I like the whole Norway thing. Anyway. <laughs> but there's like double doors. All right, so right now we're going to, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to buy a ticket, uh, my bus ticket to St. Petersburg right now. $70 for that, is that uh, Euros? I wonder if that's a good brand. That's not bad, I guess, I don't know. Right away I get off and there's like a knitting store. <laughs> I wonder if I should keep my beard because it's so much easier than having to shave. Why don't Russians grow beards more? This is the bus station right here. Comfy. Helsinki. The one thing is that this place is miss missing the Russian quality that I, I need in my life. It's very modern though, it's very Euro. <sighs> but I need that Russian-ness in my life. Let's see if I can find this place. It's so early. <laughs> I just had like the most frustrating experience at the uh, at the bus station. I can't figure out how to buy a fucking ticket. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. The buses downstairs. Yeah, we gotta go downstairs. 
I got hella frustrated. Um, I couldn't do it online. But then the Russian bus came and I spoke to them. And um, the guy said I spoke good Russian. Cause I was asking him if I could buy a ticket at the bus. He was like, he's speaking really fast in Russian. I was like, I was like, can you speak in English? And he's like, he's like, uh, this is like a mall slash bus station. It's very, very modern. Or whatever. Or so he's like, your Russian's normal. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> This supermarket is so good, man. Holy, they have all kinds of good stuff in here. But I got so frustrated, so I'm gonna try to buy the ticket online and I don't know, so far it's not looking. It's looking kind of weird. I'm gonna have to buy it at the bus. So, and I don't have, but I have rubles, but I don't know if I have enough for, uh, I don't know if I have enough. But we'll see. Oh, that was like so stressful. I couldn't uh, figure out how to frick to buy a ticket. Everything's online. I'm like, well, what if you don't have the internet? Then what? There's no way to buy a ticket. There's no way to buy a ticket in person. I was so confused, man. And nobody knew like how to buy a ticket at all. Well, the bus station's at the bottom, so I can go to the mall while I'm waiting. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, this is literally like the best supermarket I've ever seen in my life, I think. <laughs> they have like everything in here. Everything. This is the supermarket at the bus station. I don't know, I was just kind of surprised. They're baking like all this cool bakery stuff. Looks like that cake Mjoldevik. I, mean, I, I forgot how to say it, that's crazy. Tell me how they have way more Ben and Jerry's flavors than they have in the States, man. This, this supermarket blows any supermarket in the States out the water, bro. They have these sandwiches that they look mad good. I can't eat that, but it looks good. Look at this store right here. This looks like, I'm gonna go in here later. I haven't even left the bus station yet. This is like all in the bus station. I still have to buy my ticket. Nobody's at Starbucks. Cause like, this is probably the worst place here. Everyone's eating their little coffee and thing. It's so cute, how they're eating me. I mean, bro, Europe is awesome. It, it, I mean, it seems awesome. Look at that. Europe seems awesome. It's so comfortable. Guys, let's go home and have a chat. People are, well, I mean, it's the capital city, you know, Helsinki, so it's not really like, it's just one place, it's a capital city, so every, every place is capital city. guy he really uh made me feel good about myself you know my russian isn't good i definitely can't understand because when they speak too fast it's way too fast and i'm like oh and then you see on their face they're like they're like they don't get mad but they're like you know they don't have the patience they're not they're not gonna sit there and try to speak slowly <laughs> so it's like you better figure it out <laughs> But I was just like, I was telling him, I was like, you know, I was basically using basic words. I was like, Mojna, Kupit, Billy, get this. 
like um voltobus right like at the bus i was trying <laughs> to explain myself and so i don't know how to get the ticket i couldn't get the ticket online because all my cards get rejected because that's you know sometimes they do that online when you're in a foreign country and then they i don't have a sim so they whatever so i'm gonna try on the computer to see if i can get a billet but um if anything i'm gonna have to just show up and pay the conductor uh with ruble <laughs> Luckily, I kept my rubles, bro. I have a bunch of rubles. I have like $170 worth of rubles. So the ticket's like 100 euro. So maybe they take dollar off. Um, you think the bus takes dollar off? I don't know. Oh, look, there's a playground over there. Yeah, I got to I gotta solve the ticket problem. Also, I, I booked another stay another day in Helsinki because why not? I mean, it's not every day I get to go to Helsinki, so... I booked one extra day, even though I really don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Like, I mean, I'm not going to go shopping and I'm not going to like eat too much. So, I mean, what else is there to do, really? I mean, think about it. I don't know what else is there to do in life. There's a cemetery nearby. Maybe we go to the cemetery. I go to the park over there. Wow. Look, there's kids playing. Bro, Europe? I don't know, man. As far as, like, you can ask for out of, out of, like, life, it's so comfortable, bro. It's so comfortable. Is there people working in there? Oh, yeah, let's see how many people are working. Also, sorry, I, I, don't, I know I'm in here again. I don't mean to give you the same view over and over again, but I just wanted to say, like, So you have Euro, right? Europe, clearly very comfortable, very convenient. And now you have like Russia. I mean, it's just presented with like a myriad of challenges, right? I can say that. And it goes in line with like basically the history of challenges and working around problems and stuff. But it makes you think like, Russia really shines, man. Like, Russian people in Russia just really shine out. Like, they're just so different. They're so special, you know? And I think... I guess I can say, like, I learned that on this trip, even though I've only been here for a day, but...